All right, guys, so today on what to do, I'm just going to give you a quick tip. If you're having a problem with your machine uh, where your battery terminal is sparking when you try to hook up jumper cables or possibly even just turning the key. Now, there's a lot of things that come into play that could be the reason for this, but the particular um, problem I'm going to show you that I'm having seem to... Uh, seem to fix it and maybe this will help you fix yours and that's the purpose of my channel all right so let me jump into it real fast and i'll explain to you what's going on all right so this particular unit this is a bobcat zero turn now uh the operator said that the um machine had just died on them and it seemed like there was some uh smoke coming from in this area when you turn the key it's completely dead no clicking no nothing uh first thing i did was i put a multimeter on the battery and it was completely drained, which I found weird because a lot of times the battery would still have two, three, four, five volts or whatever, but this was completely drained. So that tells me there was something drawing the power or short somewhere. So when I hooked the uh, jumper pack uh, uh, up to the, the battery, to the positive, you can see I have them hooked up, right? There's, you know, our positive and there is our negative there, but I was getting sparks coming from here now one thing you can do before you start tracing for other shorts or anything like that um what i did was i i came around to the actual starter now i had to remove the wheel on this and the hydro lines to get into where you can see i already have the power cable disconnected from the starter let me turn the light on all right so when i disconnected this uh the power going to the starter i went ahead and hooked the cables back up to the battery and i had there was no spark coming anymore. So that tells me that it's coming from this starter. So the starter is bad. Now you can also check your ignition switch, make sure there's no kind of uh, green corrosion on any of your wires, things like that. There's a lot of things that that could be, but on this particular unit, that is how I trace the problem really fast. Just disconnect that power from the starter, hook up your cables again. If you are not getting that spark, well, then that is the uh, source of your problem before you start crawling underneath of machines and tracing wires. I would try that first. All right. So if this tip helped you out, please, guys, hit subscribe below and give me a like and I'll see you next time.